What is up guys? So as you guys know, I've been breeding uh, guppies and betas and all kinds of stuff. And I'm still teaming with the betas. Guppies have been successful though. I have about 30 of them in that pouch back here. Now the thing is, they're cannibalistic, so they will eat their own young. So having them together with the babies not having a way to escape from the mother or the other fish is a terrible idea. So, what I have come up with is simple as can be. I am updating this entire system right here to accommodate pregnant females. Now, what's going to happen is I have made this basket. Now, it's just the things from the beta tanks, uh, hot glued together. These weird things I can never remember the names of. These clamps and a filtration system and a rubber band and paper towel. So, what's going to happen is I'm going to fill the water level all the way up to where it accommodates the filter without you know doing any real damage or problems. This is going to circulate the water, create oxygen that the fish are going to need to survive. I'm probably going to throw in some plant debris to keep the babies from going up. And so what's going to happen is when I go and put the females in here and they do lay, they do give birth to their live young, the babies will hopefully swim through the hole since they're heavy when they're, when they're born because they're egg sac. And they're not really good at swimming yet. They usually tend to sink. So what they're going to do is they're going to hit this, bounce, so they get through a hole. They're going to fall through and they're going to land at the bottom with the rocks. Now, theoretically, this should work as a breed tank and a grow-up tank. And the fact that I have so few pregnant females now, uh, I only have these three right here. These girls are ready to pop. Um, and just to be safe, I might throw a male in here with them just to be safe. But, I mean, this is as simple as can be, and it's literally just these things right here that I built the crate with. Now, these are separators that go into the Top Fin 3 beta system. And it's these one-gallon tanks that have a little plastic three-way splitter that you put these guys in that separate the betas so the betas can't fight and they can't get to each other it's a, it's not a really good idea because they don't have much room at all i'd say they probably have about this much room and that is it at that rate you might as well literally just leave them inside of the container they come in from uncle bill's walmart petco wherever you get your betas from because sadly they went from being this size to this size where i get them from so that's over half the size some microworm culture that I don't think is taken off. Doesn't smell funny, so it's clean. But another thing, the reason I thought about doing this versus just trying to do it the old-fashioned way, the way I've been doing it, is because of my mollies. My mollies will eat my babies. I have seen that already. I have another pregnant female right there with a the black dot. I'll be collecting her very shortly out of the tank. She's pretty close to being pregnant. I have a deformed one back there. It's pregnant, too. I'm not sure if she's going to survive or not. But, hey, oh, well, you know. <clears throat> so, this tank has been used for about two weeks now. Ooh, careful. And um, I cleaned it out. It had a dirt substrate in it. I had live plants inside of it, and they grew extremely fast. In fact, when I went to pull the plant out, I actually destroyed the actual plant itself. The bulb's fine. It's sprouting again. It's regenerating, and it's, well, it's, it's somewhere inside of here. Right there it is. So I think it's regenerating. Hell, it might have died. No, it's regenerating. It's getting new leaf growth on it and everything. And I have this one right here flowering very nicely, but you can't take them out of the water because they pollinate through the water. Now... This should hopefully work, and it's better than a net idea, because I can use this, and if I need to, I can clean it extremely easily. And the hot glue, I really wanted this to be on the underside, but I wasn't paying attention. I got really interested in a show, and I glued it upside down. So that's not a big deal at all for me personally. So I'm going to get this set up. I'm going to come back, and uh, we're going to put the females in once I get the water set up. This thing has sadly been off for a couple of, I about to say two weeks now, so it's really dry. A uh, bit of fish bacteria will more than likely be dead. I highly doubt it survived that. Uh, I hate this part because I can never get it back in. But that's where this comes in handy. So these two cultures right here are actually tank filter media. So these are all live bacteria that are growing inside of these cultures right here and these cultures over here. Now I have four of these nasty stagnant cultures. And if you look very carefully, you can see all the life that's inside of them. If you look really closely, there's actually infusoria inside here, which are a microbial bacterial that help break down waste material, and they're great for tanks. Now, this fish, she's just getting it. And I don't have anything in there right now. It's very minimalistic. I had rocks, but they got too dirty too quickly, and ammonia, ammonia started. And there's like a weird bubble nest here. What is that about? Do babies make bubble nests? Because there's one of my baby betas right there. So there's only two in here. But all of these smell funky as hell, but they all have life inside of them this one actually doesn't that's actually quite i'm actually doing aquatic moss right now and this is part of the breakdown process and eventually what's going to happen is infusoria cyclops seed shrimp are all going to be transferred over from these into that to help break down that entire system to make it function better so with this idea i think it's going to work great in fact if you 
Well, I wouldn't say put it on the tank because then the babies would just go into your feet, into your into your fish tank zone, and they just get eaten by the fish inside of the tank. So definitely have a separate tank for trying to rear the young. So that's what's going to happen. So once I know the females have dropped the babies and they're completely empty, the females are going to go back in here for rebreed, and then any females that go on from there are going to come out. And if need be, what I can do is put a screen layer through here. Just a little thin white screen. I have a bunch of it. And it'll collect the babies, but it'll keep them from swimming back up. Because they'll fall through that too, but they won't be able to get through it. Theoretically, they wouldn't be able to. Because it's, it's kind of a thinner gauge than this. This is really round. This stuff's square. So I'm kind of thinking maybe that they'll have a bit of a harder time. But I don't know. So I'm really proud of this thing, actually. It's not perfect. It looks janky. But you know what? It's functional. It's going to get the work done until the bands break and everything just completely fucks on me i need bigger rubber bands and i don't have any right now i have to go pick some up i save all of them i get from uh buying fish off the bags and stuff and if i do this wrong i'm gonna break the other one oh yeah so yeah these edges are sharp so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get oh yeah look at that look at that jesus christ i'm gonna get some uh toilet paper or tissue paper or even just a piece of paper and put on the edges here so it stops that from happening because sadly these filtration systems right here work amazing they just don't do well on glass like this they actually have to have a frame so this is the frame system right here so anyway guys i hope this video was kind of educational and might give you some ideas when it comes to breeding your guppies um plants definitely gonna be needed inside of here uh i don't know where i'm going to get the plants unless i get to uncle bill's petco maybe no definitely petco petco's plants are a hell of a lot cheaper uncle bill's was like 30 dollars for the plants i can buy for eight bucks and these right here are actually wild these are a native aquatic plant that i have inside here with these females you can kind of get a good size judge these girls are nice and fat they got their black dots so they're close to giving birth so i can't wait for that but uh yeah guys i'm off your like comment subscribe and uh i'll make another video here in a little bit on this thing full and hopefully functionable See you guys in a little bit. Later.